Thanks for everybody uh, for coming out today and a special um, thank you to our, our honored guests today, um, Superintendent Basler and representatives, um, along with Jan's family. So on behalf of Park River Area Schools, I want to welcome everybody to this ceremony. Um, I first got to know Jana 14 years ago. I started here in 2006, and she served as Reading First Coordinator at that time. Um, over the years, she's added some titles. She um, was an instructional coach, became something that schools needed. She was really a natural fit for that. Um, she's also been a title teacher, and uh, a few years ago, we also added technology integration to her um, workload because she's really natural with that and it's been a great fit. Um, some of the things that I've observed uh, regarding Jan over the years is she has this unique ability to motivate people um, and inspire teachers. Um, she, she's very fixated on what's good for kids and I, I think her energy uh, rubs off on everybody around her. Um, I've never seen a, anything that Jan has been involved with where she doesn't give her best effort. She has this um, kind of energizer bunny attitude where I don't know where she just keeps going, but she keeps coming up with these ideas. And <laughs> okay, <laughs> and they're just phenomenal. I, I don't know how she how she does it. She's certainly not afraid of a challenge. Um, she she relishes those things. Um, she even took on some basketball coaching last year, and I, I feel um, that my job as an administrator will be a complete success if I can get her to get her bus driver license by the end of next year. So, so we're working on that. You will be complete by then, Jeff. Um, she just always has these, this knack for coming up with these creative activities um, for students and staff. And they're just too numerous to, uh, to mention, but um, she started the Battle of the Books uh, a couple years ago, and she's helped us a lot with our um, uh, some of our other activities and, and bringing kids from other schools in. Um, one thing that I learned really quickly from working with Jen is to listen to her. Because when she would come to me with ideas, uh, and sometimes, you know, I'm kind of a traditional, straightforward guy, and she'd come with ideas outside of the, my sight lines, and I, I learned that I needed to listen to this young lady, because um, she knew what she was talking about. And I think one of the things as an administrator uh, that you need to learn is how to support those people and make those things happen, and then quite frankly, get out of the way. Because um, Jen is a great leader, Anybody who can get the staff to camp out overnight on the playground has got some motivational skills. She didn't quite get me, um, but there were some interesting conversations the next morning, let's put it that way. So, um, I think probably Janet's greatest quality in my mind is that she makes everybody around her want to be better. Kids, educators, even her superintendent. One, I think it's really neat that we are able to, to do this ceremony because we've, we've known something for a long time around here and that Jen is one of the best. And I'm not just saying in the state, I'm saying everywhere. Um, and now the state, the rest of the state will get to know that as well. It has been uh, certainly my privilege to work with Jen these last 14 years. She's just been a great advocate for teachers and kids, um, and we are really, really fortunate to have her. So on behalf of Park River Area School Center, congratulations, well deserved. Well, thank you for joining us for this special recognition. At Parker River Schools, we are fortunate to have a team of educators that greatly value students and their ongoing success. Together, our educators prioritize the continual development and improvement of a high-quality learning environment. 
One of our educators makes such profound impacts that we wanted to recognize her excellence. It was an honor for us to nominate Mrs. Jana Goodison for North Dakota Teacher of the Year. We have a deep appreciation for the contributions she makes that foster, develop, and sustain a learning environment that continually promotes success for everyone and the greater good of all. Some of Mrs. Goodmanson's work is well known as she has served various roles in our school as a teacher, reading coach, instructional coach, technology integrationist, test coordinator, school improvement chairperson, mentor, Title I team member, student council supervisor, Battle of the Books co-coordinator, and much more. She has also served our students and community outside of the classroom as a coach, co-director of the local Bile Girls program, and various fundraising and outreach activities. Behind the scenes, Mrs. Goodmanson continues to serve with an unending passion, dedication, generosity, and energy that is truly admirable. She is observant and quick to step in and help without being asked. In the letter I wrote to nominate Mrs. Goodmanson for North Dakota Teacher of the Year, I described the privilege I experienced working with her as a teacher at Parker Elementary. I was able to collaborate with Mrs. Goodmanson to enhance classroom instruction, foster reflection, and inspire innovation. Her calm yet enthusiastic expertise and support were integral as we developed practices to support literacy development, technology integration, data-driven improvements, positive interventions, family engagement, and community service. Mrs. Goodmanson helped me develop instructional videos so I could flip my math instruction and encouraged me to utilize a variety of meaningful technology resources. She also helped engage my students in coding activities, virtual reality experiences, and interviews with experts from around the world. The nomination letter also described how my first year as a principal at Parkerville Elementary led to even more appreciation for Mrs. Goodmanson's influence. In this new role, I was able to observe how she develops a rapport with students, staff, and community that is naturally genuine and instinctive. Mrs. Goodmanson helped us transition to school-wide standards-based reporting last year and the lead support in our distant learning needs. Our distant learning experience highlights her adaptability and commitment. She patiently supports students, families, and staff as they navigate new instructional and technological needs. Mrs. Goodmanson's spirit definitely embodies a dedicated educator. She progressively seeks to serve students, staff, community, and the world in the very best and kindest ways possible. It is truly an honor to nominate her for this award, and no matter the outcome, we are proud to have Mrs. Goodmanson as a leader on our AG team, as she is someone of the highest caliber that impacts education. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us to celebrate Mrs. Goodmanson. My name is Kirsten Basler, and I'm the, I have the honor of being North Dakota State Superintendent for the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction. It is a true honor for me to be here with you all to celebrate excellent public education in North Dakota. We have great teachers and great instruction at Park River Area Schools. This, it has been four years, I believe, since the last time that I've been here, and I've met several of you that time, and it's so nice to see all of you again. Coming back four years later, I can see that Park River Area Schools has only gotten better and better. One of the very best of the best in all of our North Dakota schools is Jenna Goodmanson. She is a fine K-12 instructional coach and technology integration specialist with Park River Area Schools. Because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to visit schools as often as I once did and as often as I would like, but I just want to thank you all today for your hospitality because I can sincerely tell you that of my favorite days of work are the days where I'm back in our schools, inside a school, because it energizes me and it reminds me of who we are as a state and what a high priority we place on high quality education 
and I want to thank you for that. Um, it really does remind me of the reasons that we all work so hard to make sure that our students have everything they need to make their dreams come true. So North Dakota is working very hard as well to raise the awareness of the importance of education, the importance of teachers, and raise the profile of teaching to celebrate the great teachers in our state. I believe the pandemic has allowed us all to really understand not just how important teachers are to the lives of their students, but also how important teachers are to our culture and our society as a whole. The important role that they play was, was exacerbated and underscored by their sheer absence this spring. The mission and the purpose of the North Dakota Teacher of the Year is to celebrate and raise up our teachers. We must celebrate, recognize, and honor our teachers. We want our young people to honor that profession and think about going into teaching themselves. We've made this program bigger and better by asking for candidates from all of North Dakota's 53 counties to be represented for consideration for the North Dakota Teacher of the Year program. And this year, we have honored Teachers of the Year candidates from 16 counties. And your Janet Goodmanson was the 2021 Walsh County Teacher of the Year and has now been chosen as a finalist. Our finalist candidates were asked why they should be the Teacher of the Year for 2021. They were asked to highlight their personal stories, give examples of how they teach, and how they engage students of all backgrounds and ability. They've asked how they influenced other school, their school culture and how they collaborate with their peers. They've been asked about projects that they do as teachers and how they connect with families, students, and the community. They're also asked what they consider to be a major issue facing public education. My point in sharing all of that with you is the application process for the Teacher of the Year finalists that Jenna went through is not easy. In fact, for her children, you could consider it one heck of a heavy homework assignment that she had to complete. And today, we are here to celebrate because Ms. Goodmanson has been selected as one of the four finalists for North Dakota 2021 Teacher of the Year, in addition to being the Walsh County Teacher of the Year. So let's give her a round of applause. This really is a great accomplishment. The four finalists have been or are going to be interviewed, and one of those finalists will be selected as the 2021 State Teacher of the Year and honored at the State Capitol with the Governor and me later this month. But I want to tell you that Mrs. Goodmanson's journey has just begun. Because more than just a moment in time of recognition, more than just a celebration or a competition of selecting some of the best of the best of our teachers, what the North Dakota Teacher of the Year program is now is a program that brings together the best of the best. And Jana and her other 15 county finalists and the four finalists, Teachers of the Year, will be spending the year with me, helping me learn more about what our public education systems need, about what their perspective are, because I believe that it's so very important to provide the teacher voice, amplify that, celebrate it, honor, and recognize it as we do our work. Not only at the Capitol with my colleagues, good colleagues, Representative Munson and Representative Damshin, who are with us here today, but to all of our legislators, and then to share that message with the rest of the country as well. So I look forward to getting to know you better. I look forward to spending this year having you teach me as the great teacher you are about what teachers need in order to make their, their, children, their students' dreams come true. When I read Mrs. Goodmanson's materials, I was tremendously impressed. Not only is she a great teacher, a great colleague, but she is also a learner who keeps learning. Your professional development was extraordinary. And she is so involved in her community. I'm sure I don't need to tell you as Park River Area School residents and community members what a great person you have in Mrs. Goodmanson. Our students and all of us as North Dakotans are honored and blessed by our teachers' passion, their honesty, their humility, and their willingness to inspire their students to their fullest potential. I just want to take a moment to speak directly to Jenna's family. 
to her mom and her dad and to her husband and her two children and her in-laws who are here with you, uh, here with all of us today. The an amount of energy that teachers put in, you know firsthand, up close and personal. I want to thank our children for sharing your mom with so many other children in the Park River Area Schools. I know you do often. I want to thank her husband for making sure that everything is okay on the home front when she needs to stay just one more hour at school to do one more project for her students or her colleagues. So thank you for that. And to her mom and her dad for making sure that you were always there to support her. I've known many, many teachers, and I can say this with my own, my parents were just such a great support to me. And so thank you for being the family behind this great woman that we're celebrating today. So Mrs. Goodmanson, um, you are a shining example of the best of our teaching profession and all that North Dakota has to offer anywhere in this state and as Superintendent Hansen in this nation. Now everyone knows. So congratulations again to Mrs. Goodmanson for being Walsh County Teacher of the Year and the finalist for the North Dakota 2021 Teacher of the Year. And most importantly, Mrs. Goodmanson, thank you for all you do as a teacher. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank you all so very much. Sorry. I'd like to specifically thank uh, Superintendent Basler for coming to celebrate today. I'd like to extend my gratitude to Mr. Ham, uh, Mrs. Martin, my former principal, Brenda Nielsen, and the past and present school board members of Park River. I'm grateful for, your, for the recognition and the support and dedication that you've given me and the others here at Parker River School, so we can do the best for our students. I'm honored and humbled to be selected as a finalist for the North Dakota Teacher of the Year. I'm honored to join a group of educators that represent the best of North Dakota, and I'm humbled because there are so many other educators that mentor, inspire, and instill a love of learning in their students every day. Over the past couple of months, I've reflected on these events that have brought me to this point in my career. And there are many individuals that have guided and influenced me and supported me along the way. And I'm so grateful for that. To start with, my parents. My mom and dad have been dedicated and have shown a strong work ethic. My dad's can-do attitude taught me that I can do anything I put my mind to. And my mom's love and support for her community really taught me that it's important to care for and love the people around you. I'd like to thank my family and husband. You've been a great sounding board and supporter of my work. You have consistently reminded me that setting goals and reflecting on the process to achieve those goals is so important. Those are valued characteristics that I want to instill in my students. To countless teachers, mentors, colleagues, and friends that have helped me be the person I am today, I'm so grateful for your honest conversations, your unending love for learning, and your passion for supporting students. Every day, it's you that inspires me to be the best educator that I can be. When I completed my application for the North Dakota Teacher of the Year, I originally wanted to center my message around four attributes that I try to embody as an educator and model for my students, and that's inspire, improve, create, and innovate. But the past two weeks have really brought a couple of things to light. First, I want to remind and encourage educators everywhere that now, more than ever, you need to give yourself some grace when the day doesn't go as you've planned. Treat yourself with kindness. Don't be hard on yourself. You're doing remarkable things, and be kind to yourself while we're ironing out these issues. And secondly, the time we are in, the situation with the pandemic, needs to be looked at a little differently. Bernie Brown, 
recently on her podcast described this and called it day two. She described day two as the place where the shiny newness of day one has faded away. Day two is uncomfortable and it's a vulnerable feeling. We're handling the tough stuff right now. But the plus side is this is where the real learning happens. We're going to be in day two for a while now, with the end of the year far off. So I want to encourage educators to stay the course. The road is long, and it might be bumpy, but we need to stick with what we know and be flexible with how our students will get there. And excuse me, to the students that I've seen throughout the years and worked with throughout the years, I'd like to thank you. It's been an incredible honor to learn right alongside with you. My wish for you is to find the person who helps you see the best potential or the fullest potential in yourself, just as I have with the many mentors that have brought me to this point today. Thank you everyone for your time and, and coming to, to celebrate today. Thank you very much.